Uh, my name is uh, Jonas Birch. I'm the Director of Applied Technology uh, with Emerson Process Management uh, here in Singapore. Uh, so that means that I'm responsible for new technology adoption. You know, so I'm helping our customers adopt new technologies like uh, field bus, uh, wireless, and Internet of Things, and in, in the process industries. Yeah. Uh, three things. Uh, uh, well, we start off uh, with uh, why do we need these things? Well, um, plants were built uh, years ago, okay? And uh, at that time, you know, the, the price of energy, water, and those uh, resources uh, was cheap, okay? Uh, however, the cost of automation was uh, uh, very high. So for these reasons, you know, uh, plants uh, at that time were uh, not fully instrumented, okay? Uh, a lot of tasks were still carried out uh, manually without uh, automation, such as uh, manual data collection for equipment, uh, health monitoring, etc. Since then, the scale has really uh, tipped. Now the cost of energy uh, is, is high or, or certainly uncertain, right? Whereas the cost of automation has uh, gone down very much because of wireless, uh, digital networking, and cloud computing, etc. So we're really using that to. Uh, offset the, the, the drawback, if you will. So uh, w now uh, customers uh, or plants uh, can and should uh, fully automate, uh, you know, the, the, with, with more sensors uh, everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And the, the, the second part is uh, how do we do this, okay? So we're really helping uh, customers uh, identify where n more automation is required in order to improve reliability, improve energy efficiency, uh, improve um, maintenance and, and, and operations uh, uh, productivity. So the way we do it, we, we help the, the customers deploy uh, more sensors uh, throughout the plant and the, and the software that goes along with that. And they, and they can do that right now. Yeah. And last, thirdly is, well, what do we do? So we'll introduce you know, the various sensors you know, for vibration, uh, acoustics, pressure, temperature level, pH conductivity, all of that. And these are all wireless sensors which are very easily uh, adopted together you know, with the sensors, for, or sorry, with the software for uh, energy management and online condition monitoring, etc. Well, uh, well, by instrumenting uh, equipment in the plants, you know, you can make dumb equipment become smart equipment, okay? So a pump can now become a smart pump. And you can monitor it uh, remotely. In fact, this is already being done for uh, aircraft engines and airplanes up in the air. So why should plants be any different, okay? So that's really w uh, what, what we are doing uh, right now. Well, uh, we have to be uh, a little bit careful in the sense that I wouldn't want to see uh, new technologies or solutions come about which are not compatible with what already exists in, in plant today. And also, I would not want to see you know, uh, proprietary solutions locking customers in. Okay? So I think we have to collaborate to ensure that the new you know, Internet of Things technologies, uh, it is open and it's backwards compatible with everything which is installed in thousands of plants uh, around uh, the world. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I mean, it's, it's well attended. Uh, there are speakers from all over the world, and there's even a, a small exhibition downstairs. Uh, well, yeah, I, I've met, uh, for example, uh, one of the uh, uh, speakers from, uh, from ARC, you know, so uh, Bob Gill, he had some uh, good insights, you know, uh, met uh, a cybersecurity guy from uh, TIFF, you know, so yeah, there's good people around. Yeah.